Ask Reddit by, deleted. People who have traveled to North Korea, what was your biggest shock of the trip? A literal shock was in one of the hotels we stayed at where we had to wear rubber slippers if you used any of the taps because there was a good chance you got an electric shock from them. Faulty neutral hook to ground made the light work. I have been there I was the only person living in South Korea to visit in 2009. I was told this later by the South Korean police. It is a deeply fascinating place. But I'll just say one thing. The first question I was asked by anyone when I got there. Do they have music in other countries? This reminds me of my trip to Iran in 2010. I was prepared for a lot of things but music being illegal wasn't one of them. There was one traditional Persian restaurant in Tehran that had official approval from the government to have a band play folkloric music. Big Empty Roads I did a bus tour around the Kaesong area in 2008 and we were the only vehicles on the road except for our escort. The other weird thing was the soldiers randomly stationed in the middle of a field stood at attention probably a little theater for us. I remember going to the city at the DMZ on the NK side when we got down there on the coach the exit to the motorway had a big roundabout which was a good three lanes wide. Right in the center was an officer stationed with flags to do traffic calming directing. Problem is our coach was the only vehicular traffic on the actual road. Probably the first one the poor lad had seen in a good half hour haha. <laughs> the ultimate bullshit job. Met a British guy at a bar in Vietnam who told me he helped run tours in NK. I figured he was bullshitting me but he pulled out his phone and showed me a bunch of photos from his work. Sure enough, he was legit. He said the people are all very friendly and are just stuck under a horrible government. The worst part, from what I've heard, is that most of the North Korean citizens actually know what kind of situation they're in. They may not realize how extreme it is, but it's definitely known. As someone who went on a regimented group tour, I was surprised how willing our government guide was to alter the planned itinerary. Half our group was delayed on the train so he brought us to a stamp museum nearby while we waited. We were driving by a fancy building and someone on the tour asked what it was. Don't remember what it was, but our guy said he could arrange for us to visit the next day if we wanted. That said, I'm sure they wouldn't let us walk down random streets, especially once we left the capital where all the most well-off people live. And when we left the stamp museum. The woman working it shut the lights off behind us and went back to standing in the dark. But considering I was expecting a no questions tour of a Potemkin village, it was surprisingly relaxed. Went back to standing in the dark. Just ouch. The empty huge roads, the fact that we had to use euros to pay for things in foreign shops, the kitschy huge painted billboards of the dear leader everywhere. I ended up going visiting an orphanage in Wonsan and seeing the little kids have no expressions or curiosity was sad to see. Went to the DMZ. Nothing truly shocking given the already abysmal public image of NK, but what surprised me was the continued effects of the split on Korean families who lost relatives after the two countries divided. My wife's family was split. They were some way connected to royalty and had thriving businesses they had to leave behind. I saw videos of a tourist using a computer in the library and all around him North Koreans that just stare at their screen and do nothing. Yeah, man, that's totally not me at work, for sure. It's probably not exactly answering the question the way you want, but my convoy of vehicles struck and killed a man on a bicycle a few hours north of Pyongyang. We were being escorted by the military, and so I, one of the translators, started yelling at the driver that we needed to pull over and render aid. He kind of shrugged laughed and said that the roads belonged to the government and that was a risk he took by using it. So, guess that was the biggest shock? Sigh. Wow, that's actually crazy. I have a rather unique perspective here. I went with a Chinese tour group, even though I am not Chinese. I was one of two foreign passport holders on the trip, and I am happy to answer questions. 
A couple of my old photos are currently on my Reddit profile so feel free to check that out. Most surprising was probably the overt racism I experienced at Kamal Sung's birthplace in a random park in Pyongyang. All the Chinese were allowed in but I was forced to wait outside by some overzealous army guard. Everyone else was totally chill though, especially the two guides who were lovely. Was the food good? And drinks? And do North Koreans eat dessert? Has a tourist visiting the DPRK ever had a medical emergency while there? Do they take you to a hospital if you do? Edit, I'd imagine being taken to a hospital there would take you away from the typical planned tourist trip and you would get to see more than most visitors possibly. Think so. I went on a group tour there and got terrible food poisoning. Felt like I had to throw up whenever I got out of bed. Both our western tour guide and our local guide, government minder, asked multiple times if I needed to go to the hospital. So I assume they have plans for it if needed. Was too nervous to say yes and luckily I was better by that afternoon. I'm guessing they would have taken me to the nicest hospital in the country and just given me an IV for fluids and flown me out if I needed any other treatment. Rest of the group went out for the day and they had another local guide come to our hotel in case I did need transit to the hospital while they were out. In the war museum they had a scene of Japanese soldiers eating North Korean babies. They hate the Japanese even more than the Americans. Japanese atrocities during WW2 wear something else. Probably have a good reason for that hate. I haven't been, but know someone who has. They said there were pictures of their current leader everywhere. This person was from a country that was known to put up more than a few pictures of their own leader, but they said N Korea was in a whole other league. I read once that it is mandatory to have a picture of their leader in every building. Also something about a small radio that only broadcasts messages from the government and it is illegal to turn it off. When we went to the state theater we watched a show where people rode horses and did tricks on them. One dude made a mistake and fell bad but tried desperately to continue his act even though his leg was obviously destroyed. Poor guy. We hoped him and his family weren't he sent to the gulag for his mistake. That's really sad. Meeting my wife. https colon slash slash www.cnn.com slash travel slash article slash American dash couple dash who dash met dash vacation dash north dash career slash index dot html. Really recommend Core IO Tours, they're awesome. That's a great story, I love how you met. Thanks for sharing. I didn't travel there but I was leading a cooking class in the basement of a shelter and halfway through, two women were brought in who had just escaped North Korea and arrived at the shelter that afternoon. I had so many questions that I couldn't ask felt so lucky to meet them and wonder how their life in Canada turned out. That it was kind of peaceful, very few engines, no stereos blaring, and the food we were served was very good. I already knew it was a shitty totalitarian state that brutalized its people, was incredible poor, and very poorly functioning. So any aspect being nice, was a surprise. Even that, in a place with so much malnutrition, they were able to throw together a great lunch for tourists. On the flip side even knowing how bad it was in advance, maybe the photo rules were surprising. No photos of buildings, streets, people, soldiers, and just so you don't forget soldiers. Photograph the sky and nature if you like. Unless that nature has a building visible in the frame then delete it. Else only photos when expressly given the okay. They act like that there are no spy satellites and airplanes so your photos could compromise their security, when in truth if some of country like USA, China, Russia, France, Germany, UK, India or even small countries with some money want they could just obtain all the intel without many issues. I've been to the border. I guess it was interesting to see the NK soldiers watching us with binoculars from their guard towers. So in the 80s my dad was in the National Guard. 
For their two weeks one year they shipped them all to West Germany, where they spent all their time building whatever, combat engineers. On their way out the door, their CO pressed a button and it all went away. Anyways the point is, they had him go on a tower near the Berlin Wall, and look across with binoculars. There he saw his East German counterpart, who was looking back through a rifle scope. Dad said of all his experiences in the military, that one stuck with him most of all. Being accused of stealing the secrets to a sparkling water plant, threatened with being denied from leaving the country with the rest of the tour group the following day pending the results of their investigation, and finding out my British tour guide was A, an alcoholic who thought all issues could be solved with soju and B, had, on her last tour, taken Otto warm beer to North Korea. Fun times. I would have gone into cardiac arrest the second I heard the word investigation. Oh wow, I have so many stories. But to keep things short, two things stood out to me. 1. Our tour group had only 11 tourists. But we had two interpreters and a local tour guide. They were all trilingual. Three guesses why that was necessary. Second. In the city, they had armed guards outside the foreigners' hotels, to prevent people going in as well as us coming out. In the rural areas there probably wasn't such personnel or need. They instead just locked and chained all the exits at night that included the stairwell and fire exit. My face actually paled when I discovered that. Why were they trilingual? To say things without police gov officials understanding? My North Korean handlers were startlingly candid about their own frustrations with their country, but generally specifically on bus trips, where there was absolutely no surveillance surveillance was in general much more limited than any American would tend to assume tech resources are indeed limited in that country, and AMP, my group, as one of the western guides put it, was just not that damned interesting. How do you visit as a tourist? You book a tour and spend 3-4 months doing the paperwork required for the visa. Egg. Our bosses had to write a long thing about each of us, where we worked, how long we had been there, what we did in the workplace and all sorts of crazy info. We filled out so many papers, Europeans. I suggest watching a show called Departures. It's about two guys and their cameraman and they travel and document their travels around the world. There's a two-part episode of them in North Korea it opens your eyes, everything a westerner does there is scripted and it chosen to be okay to be seen. Having spoken to Scott, one of the travel hosts, he mentioned to me that they were also told when and when not to film, as there was times they drove past farmers in fields and military bases and weren't allowed to film. Show is called Departures and can be found on YouTube. Link, https colon slash slash yahoo.be slash jxgwpkzehei question mark si5 upf67b underscore ohzpnfcz made me pay with american money i wanted to exchange some but they want that nice fiat money i recall it's actually illegal for foreigners to handle local currency so you can only pay in american money any change comes in an extra bottle of drink or something the amount of poverty and lack of resources. I knew it is a dirt poor country, but I assumed they were able to hide it with only taking me to the nice places, but even then it became clear how bad the quality of life there is. Also I meet Dennis Rodman at the bowling alley, which was a bit of a shock, 